Hi, it's me, Vamp, <clears throat> and I am doing a review on the Secure Lecta. It's one of the new Syndicate melee weapons. It can be found by, if I'm not mistaken, the parent sequence. Let's look at its little thing. It said, whip the enemy out of their ill-gotten gains. Double credit drops on kills. And you know, it is, like I said, parent sequence, reaching the max rank, and I believe 125, it's over 100 um, reputation. So get to farming if you haven't already, or you can buy it in trade because you know. Trade is always so reasonable. Anyway, let's first um, compare it to the regular lecture, which I don't own. So we actually have to go down here. There we go. It's a direct upgrade. Yeah, it's a direct upgrade to all the, well, most of the stats, including the attack speed and so much more electricity, but let's see. Is it good? That's what we're here to talk about. It's passive ability. You don't need to charge it to attack it, to attack like you do some of the other ones. Um, but it's passive ability. Yes, it gives you double credit, but only when an enemy drops credits. Now I found in Corpus missions, this is very helpful. A lot of the Corpus have credits. That's fine and dandy. I found that in Grenier missions, it's, eh, it's still somewhat helpful. Some Grenier have credits. Now I found in infested missions, it bonus may as well not exist. Infested aren't really known for current dropping credit that much. In my opinion, it could be all up to RNG. You could have found an infected that dropped a crazy amount of credits. But would I use this weapon? Well, it's a good weapon, so if you're into whips, then yeah, by all means. Actually, whips, I've found lately that I like using whips within the game quite a bit. Yeah, like using them whips quite a bit. Well, this one. I mean, the credit thing, it's nice when it happens. Is it enough to credit from? No, in my personal opinion, you're better off just using Chroma. I mean, if you want to use both, you can, but Chroma's fat, his fourth ability is better than this ability, in my opinion. But if you're going to use a web anyway, and you like the Lectra for its looks and whatnot, then this weapon may be for you. I mean, some bonus is better than, a bonus sometimes is better than a bonus none of the times, right? Right, that's how you guys look at it. Just pretend like this is a regular, no bonus weapon, because you don't have to charge it for its bonus to activate, so just pretend like it's a regular, no bonus weapon, and if you do that, then you're golden, you'll be happy when you get double credit from enemies, when you don't, no big deal because it's just a regular weapon, right? If you're going to go into the void, I might recommend this because they have more chance enemies dropping, whatever. I've never seen infested in the void. Are there infested in the void? I don't think so. That would be kind of cool though. Well, anyway, I digress. That goes into a whole lore thing, I think. But, you know, 
that in the all can create and infected so you think there would be some room in the void maybe an infected test room or something but I digress I digress okay so back to this weapon is it worth using yes because it's a direct upgrade if you liked the lecta you're going to like this weapon because it looks a lot like the lecta and it does have a bonus that you can use it's a direct upgrade with a but the effect is a bonus it literally is just a bonus that you get sometimes now i wish it would make enemies all enemy drop credits that actually might have been a better effect make all enemy drop credits you know they could drop at a minimum 10 credits or 20 credits maybe even 30 credits at the minimum per kill or 50 maybe it could scale with level i don't know but yeah use this weapon regularly if we're grading it based on its effect i have to give it a pass but if we're grading it based on its up, you know, grade is a direct upgrade to the lector. So I'd give it a go. I would try, I tried a couple of different builds and ah, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there's an airplane right out the window as I'm recording. I need to get a better mic so I can cancel stuff like that out okay anyway i was trying a couple of different builds um i finally decided i think i'm gonna go with radiation viral for now as soon as i level this up if i ever do i'm pretty much screwed i gotta put another format in it but for now it's pretty good it comes with a deep polarity and uh you know Stance slot is also a deep polarity for whips, so that's pretty cool. As you know, it is electric by default, so I could have done just radiation, but radiation viral seems the way to go. I was going to do radiation gas, but I thought viral might work out, and this worked out pretty well. So like I said, direct upgrade if you like using the Lecta and, you know, want an upgrade to the Lecta, definitely get this. It's bonus. It's very situational. That's what I would think. It's situational. But yeah, tell me your views on it. How do you buy it? Do you plan on buying it do you think it's going to be a super credit farming machine because i'll be honest i went into this thinking oh it's going to be a credit farming machine it's not a credit farming machine the way it is it's an upgrade to the lector with a chance at getting double credits for stuff you're playing the lottery basically, RNG lottery. It's like, oh, this enemy dropped credit, so I get double. And it doubles any number, just double. So if that enemy only dropped two credits, it would double it to four credits. Or if they only doubled one, it would do it to two. It's not picky. It doesn't give you any bonus. It literally just doubles credit if they drop credit if they drop credit i just want to point that out to you guys and actually you know what we will go to the parent sequence because you cannot buy this weapon in the um market you can only buy it in the parent sequence or in trade but if you buy it in trade, it will be fully un mod unrated because you can't sell rated stuff. 125 standing. That's what I thought. 
So, you know, with that, I will end the video here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully this helped you with the, you know, whether or not you want to spend all that time leveling up the parent sequence so you can get. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Later.